15 billion years ago something happened which was unprecedented. The universe started. This was a pretty significant event, being that as far as anyone has been able to work out, it hadn't existed before. The problem with events at this time is that the laws that govern the universe just don't seem to work. After all, infinitely small volumes and infinitely large energies are not too common in the observable universe. For all the scientific achievements there were a few things that puzzled astronomers. How large was the universe? How did it form? How old is it? How is it changing? Albert Einstein came up with the general theory of relativity. This was an attempt to explain gravity and the structure of the universe. One outcome of the equations used to explain relativity was that the universe could not be static. That is it is always changing. Einstein was a firm believer that the universe had always existed and overall did not change much. To overcome this Einstein introduced a cosmological constant into the equation to allow the equations to show a static universe. In time Einstein regretted this small fudge to his equations. Not long after Einstein a Russian scientist Alexander Friedman used the relativity formulas to show that the universe must be either expanding or contracting. His idea was that the universe was created from a small region of space that expanded was not taken seriously. In 1929 Edwin Hubble was making observations of the light coming from galaxies. In particular he was looking at the spectra coming from those light sources. Spectra are the patterns formed when natural light is refracted. The pattern is most familiar in rainbows. The spectra coming from stars usually have a series of dark bands where energy have been absorbed either by atoms in a star or atoms in interstellar dust clouds. He noticed that light spectra coming from stars was shifted into the red end of the spectrum. This shift also related to the object's distance away from Earth. The further away from Earth, the greater the red shift. This showed that all matter in the universe was moving away from each other. And the further away the object, the faster it was going. The answer wasn't that our solar system was in the middle of the universe. Rather that, everything was moving away from everything else. As the universe expands the amount of space between everything also expands. So it appears that everything is moving away from whatever point you are observing from. A balloon can provide a way of visualizing this. Draw three circles on the balloon. As the balloon expands the distance between each circle gets larger and each appears to be moving away from the others without any of them being in the center. 